It has happened again. Arsenal have beaten Tottenham 1-0 from a set-piece goal by Gabriel to claim their third win in three years at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So let's get our instant reaction to the game that happened today. Let's get into it. Straight off the bat, I couldn't be any happier than I am right now with the team. Arsenal had considerable setbacks going into this game. Of course, Odegaard, Rice was not there and even Calafiori, who I thought could have been fit for this game. Arsenal had to play a team that hasn't played together a lot bringing in Jorginho and Havertz into midfield. We had to show a lot of resilience to win this game. We had to rely on some of our senior players and work together as a team. And I think we did brilliantly. Now, in my preview, I said that I expect Arsenal to sit off the ball a lot and basically try and counter Tottenham. Now, while we did try to do that, there's something I clearly forgot about. And that was how good we are at set pieces and how bad Tottenham are at them as well. I think the game overall was even in parts, but I still think Tottenham didn't have that many good chances after the first half an hour or so and by then we settled into the game and had a few key chances for our own i think in the second half we were clearly the better team than tottenham overall and this game i think was just another perfect example of Mikel arteta's philosophy where although we have been very good attacking in the past he is very much a conservative manager that will hold out and get them set piece goal winners just to be resilient and get through the game and this is something that was key for us last year in the top six battles and yet again has been key in our first one this season and i know there's going to be a lot of criticism there always is over Arsenal for absolutely no reason but this is one of the best performances we've had in a very long time although I think there's definitely problems going forward but I would say without some people like Odegaard and Rice it definitely limits what we could do I think considering we did have a bit part team in many positions and we didn't have players that we would want there the fact that we were able to still get a result this well and we defended for our lives for most of it just shows how togetherness we are the ruthlessness of the team and how determined we are to get these results a few years ago, everything they always spoke about with Arsenal was not being ruthless enough, not being there for the big games and sort of giving it up. And now they cannot argue that we are always determined to win these games and we always stand with each other. And now they're going to be talking about Tottenham and how toothless they looked yet again. And overall, I think it was a game plan that Arteta implemented perfectly and the team executed it to the best of their ability, which got us another win. And I think some players, I think, struggled, but I don't really want to talk about them. We've got to talk about the players that really stepped up for us of course Gabriel and Saliba were excellent yet again I arguably think they're some of the most important players in the world for Arsenal I think they're the best centre-back partnership in Europe and I've said this for many times they can definitely lean on each other in many situations Saliba is the defender that is out and out brilliant at every defensive work and Gabriel is the physical one that keeps making the right decisions now and again and he's of course a massive threat from corners and set pieces 15 Premier League goals now since he joined the most out any other defender and it's another goal he has scored in a big game when we needed it now the corner goal itself where he scores from you can definitely look at arguments with Tottenham but it's near enough the same amount of goals that Havertz scored against them last year and Postecoglou has this arrogance where he doesn't think defending corners is important which is in Tottenham because he's the second most in the Premier League the last two seasons but I think the biggest issue for them is Vicario the goalkeeper does not come out and it's definitely an area where Arsenal highlight and other teams do as well you get people on Vicario so he doesn't move and he doesn't really move anyway and although the defenders you would expect them to stay with their man when it gets a bit congested in the middle it can be hard to follow your guy and this allows Gabriel to get the space where he scores the header brilliantly after that I think as well we defended in numbers Tottenham didn't have that many chances even when they conceded and I think that just shows how good we are at really shutting up shop and having this system that Arteta has done I think Yuri and Timber arguably played his best game in an Arsenal shirt I think he was incredible today and I was someone that wanted Calafuri to maybe play over Timber going into it, but obviously Calafuri's injured. Yuri and Timber came in and was excellent, and I think that is a real top performance we needed in a big game. I think our two wingers worked really hard. Okay, you could talk about the end product of people like Martinelli, but I think they worked incredibly hard, which they needed to, and I was very impressed with that. As well as Havertz, who has now played 90-minute games three times in the last seven days, and while he was playing an attacking midfield position, you could argue, he was running around everywhere and providing ability and just giving us legs in there which we definitely needed with Jorginho and Party not bringing that many legs compared and I will go into some of these players in separate videos so I won't go into them too much here but I also do want to give a quick word about David Raya now I said a few weeks ago I think he's arguably an Arsenal's best player this season and for some reason on the internet it's not allowed to praise any other Arsenal players without saying Saka's our best player which I don't agree with David Raya deserves the praise he's had and I think he has arguably been such a much upgrade than he was this time last 
last year that is actually making the team a lot better. I've said it multiple times, but last year you could argue that he got that golden glove because of the defense. And now I think he's only conceded one goal because of him. He is insane in every game. His calmness on the ball, his distribution is getting better, but he's also becoming an incredible shot stopper. He's becoming a great safe hand at the back. And I think you can see the difference between him and Ramsdale with Ramsdale's performances at Southampton. Raya just comes and claims every ball, which I absolutely love. I also think you can see that the trust Arteta has in the team that he started. Now, I think that some of the players did struggle in certain opportunities, but I think we all stood up as a leader in the team. I think Jorginho as the captain really stood up in many points. And so did people like Party and Ben White as well, despite also making mistakes at certain points. And we didn't make our first substitution until the 80th minute where we brought on Jesus and Raheem Sterling for their debuts. And I do think their composure, them two specifically, was a little bit lost. But both of them, one of them hasn't played for us or one of them hasn't played in a while. So maybe I can understand that going into this game and it being on and they have to defend for their lives. But something I was very encouraged by was the fact that Ethan Nwaneri came on in the 86th minute for his third ever game in the Premier League. We should not forget that he's barely played any minutes at a senior level. And he came in and I thought he showed a lot of composure and defended really well. The fact that we had him on the edge of the blocks trying to block shots is incredible coaching to get that into such a young attacking player that I think it will only show encouragement for the future. And I think we will continue to see more minutes by Ranieri when we're not playing Man City and Tottenham. And when we have them few other games where we have Leicester and Southampton and Odegaard might still be out, I reckon he will get some good minutes in them games, which I'm very excited for. Now, most of the time when I make these videos, I want to come off in a sort of respectful way, but obviously still praising the team and criticising when we haven't done that well. But when it comes to Tottenham, I think things are different and it's not because they are our biggest rivals and how it is. I just feel like Tottenham fans turn stupid when it comes to Arsenal. I, like a lot of people, am so glad that hopefully this will stop all the combined XIs. Arsenal are no way near in Tottenham's level ultimately and we had six or seven senior players out for this game and we still managed to do it from a set piece and win the game. I think there needs to be some awareness from other teams and their fan bases of where their level is at and I think we've done very much a good job here at least. I've been trying to give awareness of what Arsenal are like and a lot of you are very intelligent and understand the level we are at and what we should be achieving. Arsenal have the best defence in Europe in my opinion but I think statistically if you look at it we do and last season we conceded the least amount of goals in the Premier League. I think we have such a core defence and the fact that they play against hard games every week in comparison to other leagues I think makes us a very strong formidable side. So to think that any of these Tottenham players are anywhere near us when they concede so many goals you could definitely look at tactics wise that is definitely the case but I'm glad that we won this game so I think it proves to a lot of people that Arteta for one deserves that contract of his course he obviously does but there's some people that for some reason don't believe that and that Arsenal are here to prove that they can fight for this title this year. People are writing us off after Brighton and the red card situation and we drew but don't write us off too yet because even without our full team we can get great results away against good teams. We've got a lot of games coming up. Atalanta on Thursday of course. I will be doing lots of videos about that as well and I will be doing some videos about some players in this game which I thought particularly were very interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Of course this is a massive win for us and we take this going into the week we've got coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.